Hello, I'd like to welcome you again to A Healthier You. I'm Pastor Larry Macon Jr. of the Mount Zion Church of Oakwood Village, and I'm so excited to have two great doctors here today from University Hospitals. Uh, we have Dr. Harwell and also Dr. Jurasic, who is here, and they're gonna speak to the COVID-19 vaccine. Many of you know that we are working with University Hospitals to provide that vaccine for you uh, through a great partnership, and so I would love for these two doctors to just speak to the vaccine and speak to you, all of those who are watching, so that we can even calm any fears, but we can also advocate uh, for the COVID-19 vaccine and make sure that people are healthy and people are safe. So I want to start uh, with you, uh, Dr. Jurasic. Just want to ask you, uh, what makes the COVID vaccine uh, safe? Well, what makes the COVID vaccine safe, uh, Pastor Macon, thank you so much for asking and, and letting me be part of this. What makes it safe is it's been truly tested. It has been rigorously tested and it is, uh, you know, really cutting edge science out there. So uh, we've now have millions of folks who've received doses around the world and truly understand that it is a highly effective and very safe vaccine, one that we can trust very reliably um, based on the science and, and what we've been able to see uh, worldwide at this point. Well, thank you. And, and Dr. Hartwell, can you uh, advocate for us and let us know why you believe that everyone should be vaccinated? Absolutely, Reverend Macon. I've seen the just how tragic getting COVID can be, you know, but I think we all know people who have had COVID and may have had a milder course with the disease, but nonetheless, you don't know which end of that scale you're going to fall on. And so I think it is so important that we use the tools that we have to try to protect ourselves from this virus. And so I'm advocating for everyone out there, if you get an opportunity to get the vaccine, please get the vaccine. Thank you so much, Dr. Harwell. And Dr. Jurasic, I wanted to ask you, uh, what are some of the myths that are out there about all the vaccines that are available? We're particular in this program are going to provide the Pfizer vaccine, but tell us what are some of the myths and please let us know how we should not listen to those myths, Dr. Jurasic. Yeah, thank you. Please do, you know, educate yourself is number one. It's really important. Mm -hmm. But some of the myths out there are clearly um, uh, challenging for people to want to get the vaccine. But I would say uh, one of the top myths is that the vaccine can give you COVID. Not true. Mm -hmm. Absolutely not true. The vaccine does not give you COVID. None of the vaccines will give you COVID. Another myth out there is that um, you'll get sick with the vaccine. And it is true, as uh, as some folks have seen, that you can get a sore arm, you can get a little bit of a, a symptoms of some aches and some chills over the next 24 to 48 hours, but people do not get ill. People do not get hospitalized from getting the vaccine. And while I've heard a lot of other uh, myths about it, I would say the third common one that I hear is they hear that it's 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 a special vaccine RNA, and that it it, it gets into your DNA and can alter that. And that is absolutely just not true. It's not possible. Scientifically, it's impossible for this vaccine to do anything to alter your genetic code or your DNA. So these are all myths that please um, educate yourself and, and, and get the vaccine. Thank you so much. And Dr. Howard, I'd like to ask you a lot of a lot that we've seen is that African Americans have been uh, disproportionately affected by this uh, pandemic and, and by uh, also the numbers of uh, people that have been taking vaccines. How would you speak to that? And what would you say that we can do to make sure that we don't make that a continued reality in our community? That's another good point on why we need to get vaccinated. African Americans, we tend to carry more comorbid conditions such as diabetes, hypertension, obesity, lung disease, and all of these things put us at a greater risk of if we contract COVID that we have poor outcomes. And because these diseases are more prevalent or more common in the African-American community, because we suffer from more of these diseases, once again, if we contract COVID, we stand a higher chance of having a poor outcome. And that too alludes to, you know, our reasoning that 
we really need to get vaccinated. We as African-Americans, we need to get vaccinated to protect ourselves as much as we can. For us to make up only 13 to 14% of the population in the United States, we're dying disproportionately from this disease. We're contracting this disease disproportionately. We're having poorer outcomes disproportionately to the numbers that we represent in this country. So that alone tells us that as African-Americans, for us not to get this vaccine, to me, makes you know no sense at all. But let me just say this, that I understand the myths that are out there. I hear them every day in my practice. I understand the fear. I understand, well, how did they get this to market so fast? I understand, well, I want to wait and see. I understand all of that. And I feel that getting the vaccine is really an emotional choice. It's an emotional decision. You really have to get your mindset there to say that I'm going to get this vaccine. But like my colleague said, follow the science. Look at the numbers. Listen to trusted voices. Don't listen to everything you see, read, and hear on social media. Don't listen to what happened to someone else, right? Have your own experience and listen to trusted voices. Reverend Macon, I feel that you're a trusted voice for your congregation and for the community. I hope that I'm a trusted voice for my patients and my community. And let's follow the science. I really appreciate that. And again, we're all trusted voices, as you say, to our family, to our community, to our coworkers, to society. So again, to everyone watching, I'm so thankful to University Hospitals for providing uh, these answers and, and also for providing the COVID-19 vaccine. And so again, uh, Dr. Jurasic, thank you so much for being on and also Dr. Thank Harwell, you. continue to do your work. You guys are heroes. Uh, during such challenging times. So thanks again for giving us this knowledge and we'll make sure that we're bringing people your way to continue to be well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all you do. Thank, Thank you, Evan. You.